Modern vehicles are astounding in the sheer amount of technology and engineering that goes into making them both safe and easy to operate. Racing has provided the initial inspiration and motivation to create many of these technologies that we now find in everyday vehicles. Striving to be the fastest around the track has led to massive improvements in car technology. Nothing says my 1996 Honda Civic is super fast and cool better than a huge spoiler on the back of it. While the rear spoiler that you find on sports cars and souped up Honda Civics are directly imported from the racing world. The first use of these wings in racing was in 1956, when engineering student Michael May entered the Nuremberg 1000 with a modified 1955 Porsche 550 RS. May had added a huge wing to the top of the car, which actually allowed it to achieve faster lap times than the new 1956 model of the Porsche 550 RS that the company was first using on the track. A decade later in 1966, Jim Hall and Hap Sharp entered their spoiler-equipped Chaparral 2E in the Can-Am Championship Series. After that, spoilers became more and more common in racing. The purpose of a spoiler, or wing, is to generate lift exactly like the wing of an aircraft, but the force of the lift is directed down instead of up to create downforce on the car. This downforce gives the tires more traction at high speeds. A modern piece of safety equipment in every new car is a rear view mirror, and we can thank racing for these as well. In some of the earliest car racing events, drivers would actually take along mechanics whose jobs were to monitor the car while racing, as well as to alert the driver when cars were coming up behind or passing. These mechanics actually had to alert the driver by tapping them, as the cars were so loud they couldn't hear one another. But for the very first Indianapolis 500 race in 1911, driver Ray Haroon decided to save the weight of a mechanic by implementing a piece of glass to the car to serve as a rearview mirror. He won the race, and before too long, rearview mirrors were commonplace. The last technology I'm going to cover in this video is paddle shifters. These are paddles or buttons on the back of a steering wheel that allows the driver to change gears while maintaining their grip on the wheel. The first paddle shifters were used by the Ferrari Formula One team in 1989. By 1993, all Formula One teams were using these paddle shifters and semi-automatic transmissions to go with them. In 1995, Ferrari used paddle shift transmission on their F355 F1 Berlinetta, which was the first production car to use paddle shifters. Today they're found on many performance and luxury cars. There are tons of other innovations that have made their way from racing to our everyday vehicles. These have improved how cars operate, plus have made them a lot more fun to drive. Activities like racing, which give incentive to innovate and improve existing technologies, are a key factor in improving the things we use every day. And I for one am excited to continue to see where racing takes our humble road cars. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe if you like this video, and check out my other videos here if you want some more interesting videos.